Hello, 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 all curious people. Welcome back again in my another interesting episode. And um, this episode, I will calculate the velocity of geostationary satellite. In last video, I calculate the height of a geostationary satellite from above the ground, which is equals to 35,000 and um, 783 kilometers. Sorry. 35,783 kilometer, which is equals to 3578, 3 times 10 power 3 meter. And I calculate this value from my last episode. You can have a look. The link is given in the description. But in this video, I will calculate the velocity of a, a geostationary satellite above the ground. You know any kind of geostationary satellite or geosynchronous satellite must fulfill the following condition. The condition is the condition is a centrifugal force which is equals to Fc that must be equal to the gravitational force which is equals to Fg and from the these velocity we have to calculate. So centrifugal force must be equal to the gravitational force if this condition is fulfilled for any kind of geostationary satellite that satellite can maintain a constant height from the ground and a constant velocity but in this episode i will calculate the constant velocity of this geostationary satellite which is equals to well let's calculate it i'm not telling it from our uh, mathematical knowledge i can i can tell this centrifugal force of geostationary satellite which is equals to m v square over r where m is the mass of um, uh, satellite b is orbital velocity of satellite and r is the distance from center of earth to the satellite and this gravitational force which can be calculated from the newton's uh, law of gravitation that is equals to g which is called universal gravitational constant and um, multiplication of mass of earth time mass of satellite over r square r square means distance from the center of the earth to this satellite but the distance from the earth to the satellite which equals to mv square radius of earth plus height of the satellite from the ground or above the ground equals similarly g equal to sorry g times mass of earth times mass of satellite times r square means radius of earth plus height above the ground whole square look at here from left hand side m and right hand side m mass of satellite they are eliminated by each other and this part and this part can be eliminated and one part remaining here and what is remaining v square equals g times mass of earth over re plus h re plus h or i can write v is called orbital velocity i can write vo equals g times square root sorry this is g square root mass of earth over radius of earth plus height above the ground from our previous calculation i already show you the height of a satellite above the ground is 35783 kilometers which is equal to 35783 times 10 power 3 meter and we know uh, universal gra uh, gravitational constant g which is equals to 6.673 times 10 power minus 11 N unit is newton meter square per kg square this i got height i got and radius of the earth r e who is equals to 6371 kilometer or i can say 6371 times 
10 power 3 meter and mass of earth which is called me equals to 5.97.97 10 powers 24 kg look at here i got g universal gravitational constant mass of earth this is constant re radius of earth that is also constant and from my previous video the link is given in the description i calculated the height of geostationary satellite which is equals to 35783 kilometers if i place all those values here i will get the orbital velocity of a geostationary satellite which is equals to v naught Sorry, actually this g is inside of this square root, okay? Then I can rewrite this equation again. g times me re plus h, right? If I rewrite this equation, now here square root 6.673 times 10 power minus 11 times mass of earth is 5.97 times 10 power 24 kg we don't need to write the unit for the simplification and re radius of earth 637 on time 10 power 3 meter first bracket plus height of the satellite above the ground 35783 35783 times 10 power 3 bracket close so if i calculate this value including this square root we will get this v naught v naught equals to 3074 meter per second 3074 meter per second that means the velocity of a geostationary satellite which is equals to 3074 meter per second every second it moves 3000 meter that means I would like to say this is equals to 3 km per second. This is the velocity of any kind of geostationary satellite. I think this calculation is very simple and you understand it. And uh, in my previous video, I calculate H. You can have a look. The link is given in the description. I have a question in this part. You know the mass of Earth here, Me equals this value. Is this value is constant 5.97 times 10 power 24 kg is it really constant or this mass is changing time to time because I would like to say sometimes satellite is taking some weight like few couple of tons or more weight from the ground to the ISS International Space Station and sometimes some cosmic uh, dust is coming inside of a uh, in, inside of our earth, earth that means this value can be changed time to time my question is is this value is constant that means the value of the earth 5.9710 power 24 kg is it constant or it's changed time to time if you know this question please write it in the comment section and uh, yeah this is the all if you have any question you can ask in the comment section i will discuss over there and uh, any kind of comment criticism or something like that will help me to improve my future video and uh, hopefully you enjoy my video thank you so much for watching if you have any question please write me in the comment section and i request you to subscribe my channel and share this video with your friends it will help me a lot to improve my next video. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye bye.